I'm going to start this out a little bit odd, but I was going to the bathroom at CES, and the most amazing marketing campaign I've ever seen was a sticker on the inside of the door that said, are you texting right now? Do you know what's on your phone? And it invited us to go to the Whoosh booth, and I'm here with uh, Dr. Kurt, a uh, PhD in microbiology, has been instrumental in the development of an interesting product for your, uh, your cellular devices or your portable devices. Why don't you tell us about what we're looking at here? Allison, uh, we've uh, worked real hard at understanding the marketplace, the needs and wants of people, right down to the consumer level. Then how can we get that through the distribution channels in a way that's got some flash, but that also brings technology right forward? Because we're talking about tech hygiene is the theme of Woosh, and the tech hygiene allows us a, a, a banner to work under that goes from everything from cleaning the machines with products that are safe to the machines, safe to the environment, and safe to people. That's our stewardship triad that Woosh lives by. And that, of course, translates really well to the big box companies, to the, to the Bed Bath & Beyonds, to the Staples, to the people that would sell these products. But what we've developed is a perfect screen cleaner that has no VOCs and doesn't have any kind of harmful chemicals with it, but cleans the screen and makes it resistant to fingerprints afterwards. So that's beautiful. Oh, I didn't realize that. They did clean my screen and it looked fabulous, but I didn't know it was also going to resist future fingerprints. It does. And then it even, you'll find as you use that microfiber cloth, which is antimicrobial treated, so we're not transferring germs from one place to another. Oh, I actually thought about that when she cleaned my phone and then she cleaned my husband's <laughs> yeah. phone. Was he getting my cooties on his phone? But good for you, because <laughs> that's, a, think about a doctor looking at a uh, iPad uh, with a patient and he's doing his recordings and then a nurse comes and looks at it what just happened right, right. you know so we're trying to anticipate some of that too but on the personal level I've got my uh, my four-year-old uh, grandchild who's uh, it's made of cooties yeah yeah she I mean this is it and and uh, the uh, she's using it then her older sister uses it and then uh, you know it does all and then that. at daycare and all that yeah exactly and they're so competent with this but so we added an antimicrobial treatment we have a disinfectant treatment, and then we have an antimicrobial preservative that gives you 24 hours of protection. Okay, so, so d let's bring this down to the practical level. Uh, they handed me a little uh, a little packet of some juice of some sort and a little cl a cloth. So you you spray the juice onto the onto the screen and then wipe it off, and then th that's bo all three pieces no. that you just described. No, it's uh, step one, step two, step three. Okay. So it's bingo, bango, bango. We start with the cleaner. So he's got, uh, this is audio too, so he's got a little uh, little squirt bottle like a binaca kind of a thing, you know, a little bre breath freshener size and, and an antimicrobial cloth. Right, and then that cleans and shines the, the phone and from your experience, you know, it's unbelievable. Oh, it's fa yeah, it's nice. I mean, how much time do you spend trying to rub it off and you feel like you're just smearing it around? Exactly. This just took it right off. I've, okay. I've got greasy skin, so I, I, I'm worst of all. So you love it. So what's step three then? Okay, so no, now step two we can disinfect that. So there's lots of use environments where you would love to be able to disinfect that surface. Now that's a specific legal term to the EPA. These products have to be regula are regulated, they have to be put together carefully uh, and registered. Uh, and we've gone through all that process, and that's expensive, million and a half dollars, three years. Yikes. Uh, yeah. And so, but is that happening with these two pieces that we have here? We got the right. squirt and the cloth, and we've got, we are actually disinfecting, for real. Right. And, and then we have a protective antimicrobial treatment that preserves that surface for over 24 hours. And that, so that's a, a second squirt? A second squirt. Oh, okay, okay, I got you now. Now, wait a minute, we're going to add one more. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> And then we encase it in kryptonite. <laughs> well, one of the things we're going to do is the one of the failures we found in the marketplace were the screen protectors that people are using. There's different plastic strips, there's different glass covers, there's different kinds of coatings. They all tend to brittleize and or peel too much too easily. I agree. So we developed a technology that can cushion, well, it's not, it can cushion the impact of stuff. And so it's got resilience, and that resilience keeps it from scratching, and it keeps it from being nicked. And the, the video we have is actually a demonstration on a car window where we shoot gravel at it. 
and it doesn't uh, dent, it doesn't uh, break the windshield. So, so you're talking about if someone does have a screen protector, adding your product makes it less impact or more impact resistant. Right. And we've actually been talking with some of the screen protector companies who are saying, yeah, we need that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's a whole other market to yeah. go into there. Yeah, well, excited. this is this is really cool, and I appreciate the uh, technical understanding as well from a, uh, from a, uh, uh, wait, what was your, microbiologist, yes, right? Yes, that's yes. fantastic. So the company name is Whoosh with an exclamation point, and uh, what's your URL? <laughs> How do they find? Where are you, where are you on the it's, web? It's uh, it's whoosh. Okay, whoosh.com. Yep. All right, great. Thank you very much. Going to ask me business things, Allison. <laughs> <laughs>